Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD Summer for Four. So today, guys, I'm gonna give you guys my Manchester United versus Barcelona preview for the second leg of the Europa League knockout round playoffs. So let's go and read some of this insights, guys. Let's go read some of this insights. So it says right here, guys, I mentioned I've only won one of the last eleven games against Barcelona Europe competitions, going winless in the last five, draw one, lost four. The only victory in that run came in April 2008 and UEFA Champions League semifinal second leg with Paul scores net netty and a one nil win. Okay. <clears throat> and Barcelona have faced Manchester United away from home Europe competition on five previous occasions. After failing to win in the pre first four, they won one nil in the most recent stretch trip in April 2019. UEFA Champions League quarterfinals first leg one nil. Yeah, I remember that it was an own goal, Phil Jones. Though. I think it was a Phil Jones own goal. Wait, was it Phil Jones? I think it was a Luke Shaw. I don't remember. It was a, it was an own goal. I'm pretty sure. I forgot who scored the own goal. We can check that later. Anyways, Manchester have only lost only lost two of the last eleven European games at Old Trafford. Although both defeats in this run came against Spanish opposition, one nil versus Atletico Madrid in March two thousand twenty-two, and one nil versus Real Sociedad in September two thousand and twenty-two. Very very interesting, guys. Very interesting there. Marcus Rashford has, av has averaged a goal every seventy-six minutes for Manchester United the UEFA Europa League this season. The best ratio of any player to have played at least 300 minutes in the competition in this term. Since the start of the 2019-2020 season, Barca striker Robert Lewandowski scored 38 goals and 32 appearances in major European competition more than any other player in this period. So guys, very, very interesting stats there, guys. Very interesting stats. So let's quickly discuss about the team news heading into this game. For Manchester United, they will have Sabitzer back. He is back for suspension. Sub, uh, Lasson Martinez is also back for suspension. I believe McTominay is also back from injury because he was on the bench against Leicester City. And I look at this Manchester United team, man, and they have been amazing. Eric Tanag has done a fantastic job with this team. This team is playing some beautiful football. They're playing great possession-based football. They're also playing very good counter second football. They're very well-averse. You know, they can play possession when they need to, and they can play counter attacking when they need to. But that's what I admire with this Manchester United team. And for Javi Hernandez here in particular, you 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 have to big you have to play your big guys in this game. You you simply have to, because if I see the likes of Alonso and Robert Alba starting this game, we are finished. Javi, I, we're gonna lose. We are, will lose instantly if those two players start. Mark my words. And unfortunately for Barca fans, I have a feeling those two will start. And you want to know why? Because let's look at the last game. Barcelona played their last game against Cadiz. And look who played the game and who didn't play. Keep that very clear. Let's actually look at the lineups, okay? Lineups right here, right? As you can see right here, guys. Alejandro Balde played. Eric Garcia played. Christensen and Jules Kunde. I think the only player of that backboard that will remain is Jules Kunde. Christensen probably won't start. Araujo is going to start. Um, obviously, he served at one game suspension, so he will definitely start at that center back position. And we're going to probably see uh, Alonso start the center back because Alonso did not play against Cadiz. And at left back, we're going to see Jordi Alba. Now, is this what I want? Absolutely no. This is not what I want. But this is a, my feeling is that he's going to do this because he's going to use a rotate. He was like, oh, we're going to rotate. We're going to, you know, save our players for Almeria away. I'm like, oh, my God. The thing is, like, this is the second leg, man. You can't mess things up, Okay. See, the thing is, what would have been so ideal is that he played his best team in the first leg. And then, you know, ease things up in the second leg. But we, di we didn't win the first leg, though. We tied. See, it only makes sense if we're in a comfortable position. Like, earlier today, Real Madrid just destroyed Liverpool. If we were in Real Madrid's position, then it would make sense. But we're not, you know. We're simply not. So it doesn't make sense here for Xavi to do that, you know. And to make things worse for Barca, Gavi suspended for this game. Gavi will not start this game. And so we're going to probably see... Uh, thankfully, Busquets is back. Busquets is back from injury, which is really, really big. Um, really, really big. And he didn't play against Cadiz at all. So I'm, I'm that makes me believe that he'll probably start against Manchester United on Thursday because he didn't play at all. And we're probably going to see a Frankie de Jong, Busquets, and Kessie midfield. That's probably the best midfield we have. And then the front three, man, it's um, obviously Rafinha is going to start ahead of Ferran Torres. I don't believe this performance against Cadiz is going to be enough for him to start. Although we could actually, you know what? I have, I wouldn't be surprised. I think I wouldn't be surprised Javi. Ben actually, you know what? I think Javi is going to probably bench Fati and he's going to probably do Ferran Torres and Rafinha together because Gavi's suspended. So he's going to try to compensate. I wouldn't be surprised with that. Guys, I'll be honest with you guys. I, I, I'm really, really worried here for this game. I'm genuinely worried here because 
Look at this Manchester United team, man. Look at the team that um. Look at the the, the look at the lineup against Leicester City, right? David De Gea was incredible that game. He made some good saves the first half, right? And look at the lineups in particular, guys. David De Gea, De Lo. De Lo is probably not going to play. It will probably be Juan Vasaka. Center backs, we're probably going to see, obviously, Lissandro Martinez will play. Luke Shaw will probably play. We're probably going to see Veron. Veron was rested. And we're probably going to see Casemiro. Obviously, Casemiro has had a three-game suspension, so, you know, in the Premier League. So, Casemiro will definitely start. And then we're probably going to see Fred start as well. And then you look at Bruno Fernandes, Wagors, and then we're going to probably see Sancho start ahead of Garnacho and Rashford, of course. Guys, I think it's going to come down to this game is can we nullify Marcus Rashford? And I'm th- looking at Javi Hernandez in particular. I'm saying that please, Javi, do not put Araujo at right back. Just, just, just have, just have Kunde be at right back and have Araujo be at center back. Because we know Eric Ten Hag is going to be smart. He's going to listen to the press conference you did, and he knows he's already anticipated that, right? And he's gonna, you, he's gonna probably play in the middle. Again, we're probably gonna see Weghorst be that number ten, you know. And the thing with Weghorst is that he's not really a good striker, but he's also he's a good linker player. He's a good player that can do the pressing, do the tackles for you, do the dirty stuff, you know. He's kind of like a Roberto Firmino in some ways, you know. And I'm just looking at this Barca team in particular, man. Is that I think the key for us to advance from this tie is we have to start Rashford, because I think if we start Rashford, I think we're good. Now Sancho is cooking. Sancho is coming into this game in good form. But we saw in the first leg that Sancho wasn't really that amazing. So it'll be interesting to see if Sancho can step up in this kind of game. All that being said, guys, I am going to have to go with United to win this game. As much as I don't want, I, as much as I want to believe my team can win this, I do believe United just have too much quality. And especially them being at Old Trafford at their stadium, I think they're going to have the momentum in their side. And I just think that Barca is going to struggle in this kind of game. You know, I think Barca will struggle. My only positive thing is that I will tell you two things that I'm positive, I'm happy with. Now, if it goes to penalties, I would actually favor us. I think we could actually win on penalties because I do think Ter Stegen is a better keeper than David De Gea when it comes to penalty shot stopping, so I would be confident in that regard. There's a cup final. United have a cup final this weekend. So what could very much happen is this. Let's say Manchester United go 2 or 3 nil up. Just hypothetically speaking, right? They will probably bring on the fringe players, the likes of McTominay, the likes of, you know, Veron, maybe, I mean, not Lind- sorry, not Veron, uh, Lindelof, Maguire, and maybe, or maybe put Luke Shaw at center back and put Molossi at left back, and we can maybe have a good go at them and just fall short, you know, and it depends how early, it depends how early United make that big lead, because I do believe United will rest up their players because they have a cup final this weekend against Newcastle on Sunday, so, you know, it's a massive, massive game for them, you know, to try to get their first trophy since 2017, so, it's still going to be difficult, though, guys. I I, I think we're going to fall short. I believe United is going to win this game. My prediction for this game is going to be a um, 2-1 win to United. I think United will score two goals in the first half. And then I have a feeling we're going to score a consolation goal in the second half. But it won't be enough. And I think United will just about advance 4-3 in aggregate and move on to the Europa League round of 16. As for Barcelona, we're going to be eliminated. And a lot of question marks will be on Xavi for his European credentials. Because... Trust me, man. I'm gonna have to. I have to speak really a lot about Javi and his European credentials. That I want to wait until after this tie is done. So that that's why I didn't decide to do it before. So let's just see what happens, guys. So like I said, guys, if you're new on here, considering that subscribe button, hit the like button as well if you did enjoy. Comment below your thoughts. Comment section below. And uh, like I said, guys, make sure you guys um consider becoming a member of the channel by clicking that member button. I mean join button. And make sure you guys comment below your thoughts and uh, share this video with your friends. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.